everyone, this is Sunera from Itsy Bitsy and I'm here to show you how you can make a holiday album using cardstock as the binding agent. I'm also going to show you how you can create more space on a single page within your album. Um, in this particular project, I'm going to show you how you can convert a, a simple double page into four pages by creating a flap uh, feature on one of the pages. Um, this will really come in handy if you want your photographs to be viewed together cohesively. So first of all, to start off, I'm going to um, glue some cardstock onto some chipboard. Itsy Bitsy has really good quality chipboard. They come in 12 by 12 sizes as well. So, you, so it was perfect for my project since I wanted a 12 by 12 album. Um, the pattern paper I'm using for this project is from the die cuts with a view trade wind stack which is really appropriate because um, the holiday in question was a cruise and um, it, this particular stack is full of you know nautical and maritime themes. So for both the front cover and the back cover I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just uh, going to glue on pattern paper. Um, the glue, my favorite glue or adhesive is for this kind of a project is uh, the itsy bitsy double sided tape it's really strong it's really long lasting and it's really easy to work with there's no mess there's no waiting for it to dry um, it's very quick and it's uh, very um, um, what is the word it's long lasting you don't find it coming off easily which is important for these kind of projects where you really want to preserve it for a long time Right now that my covers are both covered, um, I'm going to do the inside, I'm going to cover the inside space. But before I do that, I need to work on my binding agent. So I'm going to take a piece of navy cardstock and I'm going to cut it 3 inches wide. Then I'm going to score at 1 inch and 2 inches. So basically I've got 3 parts, each is an inch wide. I'm going to fold, uh, fold it as you can see here both sides inwards and um, the way I'm going to make convert this into a binding agent is I'm going to add some adhesive to the inside cover then I'm going to um, glue I'm going to um, try and I, I, I'm making sure that the pages of my album are going to be slightly smaller than 12 by 12 they are 11 by 11 so I'm making sure that the binding agent is the same size. So I'm placing it on my cutting mat and ensuring that I leave half an inch on either side when I glue this binding agent onto the chipboard. Once it is glued in place, it is now time to um, glue the inside cover pattern paper. I want to conceal this binding agent. I want it to and not just conceal it, I also want it to be really firmly adhered. And apart from the glue, there's nothing better than a fresh, you know, sheet of paper um, covering it and making sure that this cardstock that I've glued in place stays firmly in place for time immemorial. Once again, I'm using this um, uh, double-sided tape from Itsy Bitsy. It comes in it comes in two thicknesses. One is um, this, uh, which I think is. Uh, one inch thick and the other is um, is I think half an inch thick so if you have projects where you need a thinner sheet then you can use that. I've chosen this lovely navy and gold design for the inside cover. I'm just gonna align it, try to make it coordinate as close as possible with the cardstock, with the chipboard and press it down. Perfect. One cover is ready. Um, that's pretty much, I'm going to replicate the same, uh, same action for the back cover as well. And now I'm ready to show you how I'm going to do the pages. So as you can see, I've taken out four sheets of paper, five actually. This is the front sheet. I would, this is going to open and have the one sheet on its reverse side, one sheet in the middle and a flap with the third and fourth sheet. Um, so in order to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is um, score the two, the two sheets that I'm going to be joining together 
I have to be the same design and the same pattern and I'm going to score it at one and a half inches. The goal here is that it's going to be a flap. I'm also going to score the other design at one and you know a quarter of an inch less so that it covers um, it covers the fold neatly. Once I know exactly uh, where I'm placing it, all I gotta do is um, start adding the glue. And this is how I'm gonna, I'm hoping it's gonna look. The flap will be covered on the reverse side with the other pattern paper. So once again, my favorite adhesive is going to be the double-sided tape. I'm folding the little scored out portion and on that portion which has been folded back, I'm, I'm adding my double-sided tape. It's going to need two, um, two layers of double-sided tape because it's one and a half inches uh, deep. Um, so I'm adding another strip and then I'm just peeling off the protective layer. Next, I'm going to place it such that it's right at the edge of the previous sheet and now I've got one large sheet. The next step is just to add the uh, back of this paper which is the which is going to be the design on the opposing side of the page. Um, you know as much as I try to explain it from it's it's more clear just by watching the video you can understand exactly what I'm doing. It's pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, once I've done that and I've cut all my double-sided tapes uh, to size, I'm going to coordinate it as far as I can and make sure that um, the paper is clearly and cohesively covered. So now that double page has got its opposing flap, I can now start working on the opposing side. Um, I'm adding I'm adding glue to the inside of the binding agent um, that I had used for the inside cover and I'm placing the first sheet of paper which is this pretty um, creamy design on that inside flap. On the reverse side I've got one more flap but before I can glue a piece of paper on that I have got to add a second binding agent otherwise um, I won't be otherwise I won't be able to add more pages to this particular um, album. So before I add the pattern paper, I'm gluing on a second binding agent on top of the first one. Okay, that's as carefully and as um, neatly as possible. I'm adding it. Then I'm going to glue the pattern paper on top of the exposed flap. So once again glue um, what I'm basically doing is making sure the binding agent is covered and at the same time making sure that um, it is the pattern paper is keeping the binding agent in place just as much as the glue is because I've got glue on the top and glue below as you can see I'm really quite um, quite comfortable with this double sided tape um, I find it better than even tape runners because it's really broad. It's a nice strong one inch thick and it keeps everything exactly where I need it to be. Once I've glued this pattern paper in place, I can now glue the second page to the inside of this pattern paper, similar to how I did on the first page. I'm putting glue on the inside of the binding agent and then I'm going to just um, um, place the second page that I have put together with the flap on top of that. Um, I have scored the binding agent at one inch thick but it is equally satisfactory if you make it half an inch thick. It will make your album a little less broad. So there you can see it's neatly bound and I've got a nice little flap in the center. And after putting all the pages together, here you can see I've got my first page with a nice big flap which closes 
and then I've got my next page with a big flap the next the next I didn't put a flap here the next and then finally the last page as well and my cover is done so this is how the album is going to look when um, it's all embellished with a title and um, some flowers. If you want to see how I embellish this album, please check out my next video in this series. And here's a look at the pages. When you look at the album from the front, it looks like two pages. Um, and then when you lift the flap, you've got actually more pages inside. Well that wraps up this video tutorial, I really hope you found this useful and stay tuned to many more tutorials from all of us here at Itsy Bitsy. Bye!